Hello, and welcome to our guide on the artwork approval tool in Flexi. This video will demonstrate how the artwork approval tool can help to streamline your job approval process. For this demonstration, I've made some business cards for one of my customers. I want to submit the business cards to my customer, see what he thinks about my design, and see if he has any feedback before I process the job. So, when I'm ready to submit my file, I simply come to File and Send to Approval Tool. In this case, we want to create a new job as it's not part of an ongoing approval process. Here, you can set the job name as well as fill in information about the customer and the artwork. Here, you can also enter an order number or a project code if you want to keep the information here in line with your own personal system. Once I've filled in the information, I can simply press submit and it's going to send an email to the customer's email address. Here is an example of the email that the customer will receive. Artwork approval request from SAI. This will be the name of your SAI Cloud account. The customer will be able to click a link that will bring them to the SAI Cloud account. Here, they can view the artwork that you have submitted to approval. They can see the information and any comments that you submitted with the artwork approval. They can click and drag over areas of the file to leave comments for you. For example, please make this logo the same color as the body of the card. They can also add further feedback by clicking and dragging again. Please make the QR code bigger like so. When the user has annotated your design, they can simply click send comments. Feedback has been sent. Then when you come back to your personal email address, you will see your customer has made revisions to their artwork. It gives you the name of the customer, the job, as well as the order number and you can click this link to quickly review the feedback. Here, I can see the rest of the information about my job, and I can also click View Comments to see the feedback from the customer in detail. If I hover over the area here, I see the comment the customer left. Please make the logo the same color as the body of the card. And the second comment, if I scroll down, please make the QR code bigger. Now I can either use my original file or if I don't have it stored, I can click download now to download the file which I submitted. Back in Flexi, I can make the modifications as the user suggested to me. In this case, I'm going to select my logo and I'm going to change it to the color that the user requested. I'm also going to increase the size of the QR code, like so. Once I've made the changes, I simply come back to File, Send to Approval Tool, but this time I'm going to select Add to an existing job. This screen will list all of my approval jobs which are still waiting to be approved with the job name, customer name and customer email address. So I select the correct job 
I press select and it automatically re-uploads my file. When the customer comes back to their inbox, they'll see again, artwork approval request from SAI. They can click on the email and follow the link. Here they will see the modified file. Again, the customer can add any further comments they have, or if they're happy with the job, they can click approve. If you come back to your personal email address, here we can see my customer's artwork has been approved. Here it will list the customer name, the job and the order number, and you can proceed with the production of the job. If you want to view any ongoing approval jobs, you can come to your SEI Cloud account, come to the approval job section, and here there will be a list of your jobs as well as their status. So here, I see the job has been approved. I've produced my job for my customer and they're very happy because I fulfilled their feedback. When I'm finished, I can just click the delete button and the job request will go. Thank you for joining us for our video on using the artwork approval tool in Flexi 19. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for further videos and guides.